Hey guys, so it's 10 at night on a Friday night and I'm in a, a resort called Budvar in Montenegro and this tour is going to show you what it's like on a Friday night in the low season on the 31st of March in Budvar. So this is the main strip of the promenade and I'll walk you down here and just show you all the bars and the cafes. Uh, there's one called Zeleni Guy on the right side. So you can sit there, you can people watch, watch all the people go by. Yeah, I was sitting there today actually for a coffee and it was really nice and it was sunny in the afternoon. Uh, it was a bit cloudy earlier in the day, but it got sunny. And they have all these nice cafe bars along the promenade here where you can watch the people go by. Now in the low season, they close about 12 o'clock at night. So it's not like um, a late resort like some places are. They do close quite early. And this is the Tropico one on the right side. I went there today as well. Get a nice sea view. That's a good place to take the sun actually in the afternoon, guys, because it's like a sun trap. Let's have a little look at the menu as well. What have they got on here? Oh, this one is in um, Montenegrin language. Let's have a look and see. So the cocktails are um, eight and nine euros here. Um, a pint of beer in this pub is about four euros, I think. But um, in most of the pubs here, a pint of beer is about three euros actually here in Montenegro. Um, that one's a bit more expensive than other pubs. Uh, but as you go further down here, you'll find that most pubs, they're about, a pint of local beer will be, be about three euros here. Um, and you can get some import beers for about three and a half euros for a pint of beer as well. So we're walking in the direction of the old town now, um, where it all goes on, where all the bars are and lots of restaurants are. Because it's the low season, there's not that many people here on the terrace. Uh, this one's called Obala. And this one seems to be quiet tonight. I don't know why, because there's people in the other ones. Let's have a look at the food here. Uh, it looks like a breakfast there on the left side. A sevapi on the right side. That's a Montenegrin dish. They've got a steak there on the left. And they've got a Caesar salad there on the right. Anyway, it looks very nice there. Oh, there's plenty of um, restaurants that are open here. Actually, to be honest with you, the majority of restaurants are open here now. Um, I walked around the last two days and there's lots and lots of restaurants open up and down this promenade. So this area is called Slovenska Beach and um, the sand's a bit better in this area than when you go further on when it's really pebbly and stony on the beach. It's really nice in this part here because you can hear the, the waves crashing and you can hear the sea and it just unblocks all of your nose and you feel so healthy here. After you've been here a few days, you feel so healthy. I do love holidays by the seaside. I'm definitely uh, a beach and sea person over mountains, I have to say. And as we continue down here, there's lots more bars here and restaurants coming up soon as well. I'll walk a bit faster to get you there sooner. <laughs> um, so this one on the left side, it's called Coco. So that's a really cool place to hang out in the daytime. They have a really, really, really lovely terrace um, with the best views. And because it's nighttime, it's hard to see actually, but you can just sit there and you get the view of the whole coast and the view of the old town. And it was really busy today actually in that one, in the Coco one. So to the right and the left, it's all um, like palm trees, you know, as you have in tourist resorts, in seaside resorts. But when you look back here, there's all construction work going on and you can see 
they're reforming this building here so it will be nice when it's done but right now they're doing a lot of work on the resort and you can see they're doing renovation and construction uh, that there's all these property developers here advertising properties everywhere and um, they're building these new properties and they're selling them primarily to foreigners you see the adverts in Russian and in English in Italian um, a lot of tourists come here from Britain from Russia from Italy from Ukraine from from many many countries and uh, in the peak season they said they're just full every day the whole terrace is full and you can hardly even get a seat it's that busy in the peak season so this one here on the left side well they do mackerel fish 300 grams of mackerel fish for 13 euros so I'm gonna try that tomorrow and the waiter approached me outside and he showed me let me just have a look on the menu here as well so just so you can see the type of food that they offer here really it's all in Montenegrin on here on the menu on this one so it must be popular with locals as well it's interesting here in Montenegro because it's a combination of seafood and meat and um, they eat a lot of meat here like the uh, the national dish is a meat dish it's sort of like sausages really um, they're really tasty they're done on the barbecue and you must try them and they cost you about seven or eight euros in the restaurants here to go for the um, seva pici the um, I don't know if I say that correctly but that's their um, their national dish here there's a lovely street behind there as well and there's a really good bar there called the biker bar and there's an Italian ice cream place that is really really nice I went there yesterday so I'll be going to that street later on tonight as well and let's have a look now at the beach so in the center in the distance you can see the old town of Budvar and um, the old town of Budvar is 2,500 years old it's one of the oldest old towns out of all of the seaside towns in Europe and soon we're approaching the yacht marina so you see all the yachts and the boats in a minute So when you see signs where it says national restaurant there that means that's food from Montenegro um, the Jadran here is very popular here on the right side because if you go in the Jadran uh, you walk through the Jadran restaurant and you get to the biker bar which is probably the busiest bar in town the busiest bar that I've seen and they've got all the live rock bands on they've got Storo Prom and beer from Czech Republic they've got Lefe beer from Belgium I had a brilliant time there a couple of nights ago on my first night I was in there I had a really really good time so this is what it's like in the Jadran restaurant hello so it's Friday night so all the locals are out tonight as well so it'll be interesting to see because last night it was quite quiet so this te this terrace here looks very quiet tonight I think this fella's got no customers tonight but there's some of the ones further on that are um that are sort of busy every night really so uh, restaurant Porto Budvar they're advertising there so here we go this is the start of the marina and let's swing around just to show you it's just nice to see it at night and when I arrived Marco my taxi driver he took me to the uh, the, the mountain above and I saw the view at night time of the whole of Budvar and it looked fantastic from above and I got some really nice photos looks lovely this restaurant from the outside with all the greenery I love food and restaurants I'm a real foodie guys so I can't wait to try everywhere and this is where I have my dinner tonight this one on the right side um, it's called Riva 
and I was in there tonight. I really like it. I go there every day and I had a seafood pasta and it was really delicious. I really enjoyed it. Um, they've got the football on the screen at the back as well. And this is where I normally sit. I normally sit just outside, just here. And then I get a view of the boat marina. I like to sit outside. It's like a sun trap. So um, at the end of March here, April time, it's about 15 to 20 degrees. Get yourself in a sun trap somewhere and you can go really brown. I went really red yesterday because it was like really hot when you're in the sun trap. So. It's interesting here because you have people from so many different countries and I hear all the voices and you know in the last place there I can hear people speaking Russian and I think they're from maybe from the Ukraine possibly. Uh, lots of people moved here actually from the Ukraine recently um, because of the, 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 the problems there and and look at these lovely little fishing boats here. It's really nice when you come here at this time of the year, at the end of March or April time, because it's a bit quieter. And uh, in the summer, it is just packed full of people, this promenade, so you can't relax as much and enjoy these things. But all of these um, boats here on the left side, they all offer, um, well, most of them are offering day trips. So you go out, they charge you about 30 euros or 40 euros for a one hour boat trip. You can negotiate. So he offered me 40 euro for a one hour boat trip. And um, I said to him, well, it's a bit too much. I'm on a budget. And I was walking off and he said, oh, I'll do it for 30 euros for you for the boat trip. So um, yeah, might try one of them one day. And I love this part of the marina. I mean, look at the color of the boat on the right side. Uh, it's kind of a yellow color, looks really, really nice. There's a nice red yacht there in the middle. So swing around. So Montenegro, it was part of Yugoslavia and it gained independence, um, I think it was about 20 years ago now. Um, and since then, the tourist industry has just boomed here in Budvar. Uh, 50 years ago, it was a, fish, a fishing village here. And um, they tell me that they catch all the fish here locally. So uh, I noticed that I had some mackerel today. It was absolutely delicious. And I love seafood and the food here is really good. I mean, what they do, they have a proper chef in every restaurant and they cook all the food fresh. And a lot of the tourists actually uh, are going to Croatia and Croatia's become very, very expensive. Like my next door neighbors from Liverpool said, um, a bottle of wine now is four times what it used to be in Croatia. And it's just become too expensive really. So now people are going on holiday to Montenegro here and um, you can fly direct from all the airports in England from most of the big airports like Liverpool, Manchester, London to get here and you fly to an airport called Podgorica which is about one hour from here in the car. They do transfers for about 40 or 50 euros. Uh, you, can, um, you can get the bus down for about six and a half euros from Podgorica to here or you can also fly to an airport called Tivat Airport from London as well from London Gatwick. So here on the left side, you have the super yachts. Um, all the famous people come here. Some of the most famous celebrities in the whole world come here actually and spend their time here. Um, and, and if you have a look there on the left side, they are super, super yachts. They're like really, really super expensive. Very, very luxurious. And there's one of them with a British flag on, I noticed as well. So maybe it's a British celebrity. Uh, this one on the right side, this is a place called, um, let's have a look now, it's called the Old Fisherman Pub. And I was there last night and the staff were really friendly. And I was talking to a few customers from India there as well. They're also really friendly and uh, had a good time there last night. I was in there till the end. They closed about 12 o'clock, so they closed quite early. But you can sit there in the day, watch the people go by. And you can get a pint of beer, the local beer, Nick beer, for three euro 30. So I'll just show you the inside guys, have a look. So there's a nice outdoor terrace with chill out music. And um, yeah, it's quite busy tonight actually, a little bit busier than yesterday. And they said to me, come back today and we'll give you a free beer. So let's see. 
And there's the inside of the restaurant as well. And the staff are really friendly and nice. Where are you from? From England, mate, from Liverpool. Liverpool. Where are you from? London, cool mate, cool. Yeah, my first time here. I arrived three days ago. So it's very good, very nice here, very nice. But it's um, nice weather, nice boats, all good. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. But, but it's lovely, I really like it, man, yeah. Nice to meet you, bye, bye. So guys, um, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C-O-L. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.